Um, it's Friday night, it's three days before Christmas, it's time to install Mojo if you haven't already, and we are going to put it inside a distro box, so, let's get done with that! By the way, the host is a Fedora and I'm using DistroBox on Podman and not in Docker. If you unsure what to pick, just go with Podman okay? So, create image Arch Linux latest, and let's name it Arch underscore Mojo. I have the image already, no need to re-download, but it's a small image anyway, around 200 megabytes or something? Ok, now our container is up and running, but we need to install a few more things, and most specifically we need to install Python, Base Devil, and the BSD library. Next. I'm going to use a script for installing modular, and I will shamelessly copy and paste this without much of investigation. But it has 50 stars, so it should be alright. Uh, that token actually works? I don't know but it's always the same. And essentially the installation of Mojo is so ridiculously dramatic. For start it only officially supports Ubuntu. And that alone is pathetic enough but at the same time it's very hard to install it anywhere else. Actually, the original reason I used DistroBox at first place was because I couldn't install it in Fedora. And you know Fedora community, if something's not open source it's really really hard to find even unofficial support. Hmm, those warnings is basically because I have Mojo already installed from before. But I think this installation is finished, and we can open a new session to try it. This is prompt terminal if you don't know, and that icon on tab indicates we are inside a container. Ok, Mojo REPL works. And at the moment we are using Arch Runtime. But we can make that much more clear by creating a new profile and assign a whole different theme to it. I'm gonna call it Arch Mojo. Unfortunately we can't see the colors on palettes in this screen, so I'll just pick something bright to make sure it will look different. And here we can select the default container, the container that we are entering when starting the profile. So that should be something light if done correctly. Yoo-hoo! In the meantime the app maintains the profile colors even in the overview. And for pin tabs too. Although Prompt Terminal has several bugs with the profiles, but it's only a couple of months old, so it's normal I guess. Ok, let's create a mojo file to test the compiler. Oops, I'm still on Arch? Um, basically I'm going to close this because I'll get confused again. And unpin that too. The pin perhaps is a good idea but the implementation not that great to be honest. Anyway, now we are on Fedora and we'll create a Hello World Mojo program. I could do that on Arch too but I was missing Helix. Um, you see what's funny here? I spent so much time trying to install Mojo on Fedora, when I could simply install it from Arch or Ubuntu Podman because all the libraries are really on dot .modular, so basically I have a normal Mojo installation on Fedora right now. See? Isn't one of these times that your brain just stops? I mean I could have done that from day one, in fact, 
Anyone who is asking on socials how to install Mojo on non-Ubuntu they could just do the same. Get it from container and all the files would be installed on their host system. And of course it will work on Arch Linux runtime too. So that was everything for now. Happy Christmas!